What is up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for stopping by for today's video. As you can probably tell, I am sitting in my car. I'm actually in my mall parking lot and I was driving by and I thought to myself, I have not done an inside the dressing room video in forever. So I think I'm going to run into Torrid and see what they have going on in there. I haven't been to Torrid in months. I would say months. I went maybe a couple months ago. I don't even think I bought anything. I just haven't really been finding myself wanting to go to Torrid lately. I don't know why. I feel like, I don't know. I don't know what it is. So I thought, what better time than to stop in and see what they have going on in there. My hopes are that they have some good stuff for the fall time. I'm ready to look so cute for fall. Like, I'm ready for that cooler weather. You guys have no idea. I am most likely going to be doing a voiceover, so if you do not like those kinds of videos, I am so sorry, but my Torrid is always packed, and I don't feel like chit-chatting it up really loud about every single article of clothing I'm wearing in front of everybody. So, it's probably going to be a voiceover. It's like, this is not a lane, you guys. This is not a lane. I'm gonna freaking flip. People are driving me insane. Oh my God. All right, on that note, I'm headed into Torrid. So the first top that I decided to try on was this really pretty green floral top. I actually really liked this shirt. I was kind of unsure because it's kind of simple and plain, but I'm always looking for workwear type of tops. Uh, the sleeves did have this elastic that irritated me at first. It was really uncomfortable, but I ended up liking it in the end because wherever you put the sleeve, that's where it stayed. The material of this shirt is not stretchy at all, so there's no give at all, so make sure you get the correct size if you're interested in this top. The next top that I tried on was this super pretty white floral, almost off the shoulder looking type of top. I really like that although it looks like it's an off the shoulder top, it still has those two straps so you're not adjusting and readjusting all day because I know how annoying that is, especially when you wear a strapless bra. I absolutely loved the flowier sleeves on this top. And one thing that I can appreciate about this top is that it's double lined, so you won't be able to see anything through it. This next top I saw on the hanger out in the store and I thought there's no way I'm going to like this, but I actually kind of ended up liking it a lot. It has this double layering effect where you see the lace and then the actual floral top underneath. The top part by the arms and shoulders is definitely 100% see-through, so you can see my bra strap here, so I would definitely keep that in mind, but overall it was cute and super comfortable. Next up is the most basic top I tried on in this whole haul. It is just a plain black, three-quarter length sleeve, baseball style looking tee, but the arms are made of this like velvet velour material. I actually really liked it, but it is super, super basic and I could probably find something like this anywhere. Then I tried on this adorable orangey colored jacket. I love lightweight, comfy, stretchy jackets like this for the fall and winter time. I am someone who is pretty much always hot, so I cannot stand those heavy, thick coats and jackets. So this was absolutely perfect. It had buttons and a zipper up the front. It can cinch in, in the waist if you want to kind of show off your curves. And it also had pockets. Once again, another floral top. This top I found ran a little bit big. I did try this on in a size zero, which I am usually a size one. It is just this black floral top. It does cinch in right under your boobs, has a little cutout in the neck area, 
It can be full sleeve or three quarter lengths due to the elastic in the sleeve. Overall, I thought this was a really pretty top and would be great for work. Next up is this adorable little striped wrap top. The stripes are black, gray, and like a muted pink. This is not a faux wrap top, like it's actually a wrap top. So if I untied this little bow over here, you would for sure be seeing my goods. Um, Torrid, I have noticed, really likes these elastic sleeves. I mean, almost everything in that store has these elastic sleeves, but I don't mind too much. I thought it looked great from the back, how it cinches in at the waist, and overall I really liked this little wrap top a lot. Next up is this really pretty muted purple top. Um, it does have four buttons there on that bottom panel. Now this is a faux wrap top. It is sewn this way. There's nothing that's going to accidentally be shown to the world that you don't want shown. Believe it or not, although this top is pretty basic, it was one of my favorites that I tried on, if not my favorite. There's just something about it. I really liked it and I pictured myself wearing this to meetings for work and other work events. Then your girl headed over to the clearance section. This was not in the normal clearance section. It was still out with all of the other clothes. It was just on sale for 30% off. It is this really pretty yellow floral dress. Hits me right at the knees. There are buttons that go up and down the front and the best part, pockets. I love nothing more than having a real good pocket on anything I wear. So that was definitely a plus. Um, I thought this was really pretty, but I can't see myself wearing a dress for the rest of the year, so I definitely passed on this one. I decided to try on yet another dress. This one definitely screams fall time more than that last one did. It is a green, black, and white plaid dress. Um, this is definitely a skater style dress, but goes down, like I said, a little bit further than a typical skater dress would and hits me right at the knees. Very comfortable, very cute, uh, but once again, I probably won't be wearing dresses this fall time, so I passed on this one as well. Next up were the least favorite of the bunch. I just don't think I've ever seen anything more hideous in my entire life. You guys, these look like workout pants, but I'm pretty sure they were supposed to be like work pants, like legit work pants. These are just not attractive. You just see every lump and bump and roll. This is the print. I don't even know. Is that, is that considered herringbone? I don't know, but it's just, <laughs> it's just laughable, really. Last but not least, I tried on these really pretty orange, black, and white striped pants. I tried them on in a size three because that's all they had in store but I would probably be a one or a two, so keep that in mind that yes, they are oversized in this video, um, but I think if they fit me, I would have gone home with them. Like seriously, I really like these a lot and it's so easy to pair this with like a black bodysuit. Uh, once again, for work, I know, I'm sorry. I'm just really looking for work clothes, you guys. You guys, I just left Torrid and I'm legitimately sweating. I know, I know, so attractive. I forgot how much work it is to like try on that many clothes and it really wasn't even like that many items. <sighs> I definitely did find a couple cute things that I liked but I didn't end up picking up anything. I'm actually on a no buy of anything except for gas and groceries for this whole week. Um, I'm in a little like, I wouldn't even say competition. Carlos and I just made a pact that we wouldn't buy anything that wasn't gas or groceries for this whole week. So I still have a couple more days, but I really think I'm gonna go back and pick up that mauve purple colored shirt with the buttons. I loved that shirt. Like, I don't know how well it picked up on camera, but I am obsessed with it in real life. So I think I might pick that up. Um, and then if there's a coupon out, I might pick up some other things to meet that minimum because it's always like 25 off of 100 or whatever it is. So I'm definitely gonna go back um, maybe this weekend or next week and see what they have left. If not, I might place an order online. But yeah, they definitely had some cute things. Um, nothing I absolutely like have to have, but definitely have some cute things out right now. Um, and 
Keep in mind that was only like a handful of what they had out in store and probably a very small fraction of what they have online. So if you guys are interested in any of the things that I tried on, I'm going to try to find them on the Tord's website and I will leave them linked down below. If you guys enjoy these type of dressing room videos, leave me a thumbs up or a comment down below and I will definitely, definitely be sure to make more. Just let me know where you would like me to go to try on more clothes. I think that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one. Bye.